Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folks, welcome. Welcome to A Killer Friday. Um, hope you guys have had a great Friday. Um, I spent the majority of mine on the road. Trish spent the majority of hers with screaming children. Yeah. So, you know, but we're here now. We're here now. We're here with you. We have a lot of exciting things going on tonight. Um, obviously, we have the drawing for the contest that's coming up. Um, we're going to do that here in just a few minutes. Got a few announcements to get through. And then there's that whole H. H. Holmes guy, right? Isn't that who you all voted on? That's who you asked for. And that's who we're going to talk about. And um, real quick, um, that's way of introduction, kind of a little teaser um, before we get into it. I want you to, to, to imagine with me. Go back to 1893, Chicago, Illinois, um, host to a spectacular World's Fair, the Columbian Exposition. Um, celebrated the anniversary of Columbus's discovery of America. It was a boom time for the city, and thousands of people came from all over the country to attend. Um, unfortunately, though, um, the list of those gone missing at the end of the fair was pretty extensive, and um, the police uh, later, we're, we're going to say, tried to track down some of these people. Um, we'll talk about it more when we get into that. Police really didn't give a shit for the most part, and we'll talk about why. Um, but all these people start vanishing, um, the trail turns cold, and um, all this happens on the south side of Chicago, so everything was not as shiny and beautiful as the advertising for the expositions White City would have everyone believe. For a devil that became known as America's first real serial killer was alive and well on the city's south side, luring victims into his goddamn murder castle, man. A murder castle. The dude built... Ah, oh, fuck. We'll get into all of that, man. This is That's why it's dark, my favorite. This is some dark shit. Um, we, we've decided already before... Uh, I'm going to do one of these a month. Just one. Last Friday of the month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last Friday of the month. Um, we're going to uh, we're gonna let you guys vote again on who's going to be the next killer of the month. Um, right now we are looking at Jane Toppin. And I hope I'm saying that last name correctly. If not, please feel free to correct me, uh, to, to let me know. Um, if you're an expert on that old murderous nurse. But she is going to go head to head with my man. The one I'm hoping y'all vote for. Joe Matheny. The dude, it says burgers on the meme. A little bit of barbecue sandwiches going on too. Okay, he was real big. And to putting people in your belt. Um, and that's, y'all vote for whoever you want. Jane's a lovely lady. And I'll be more than happy to, to dive head first. I'll take that the wrong way. Right into some Jane. Okay, but Joe Matheny, <laughs> that's the guy. That's the guy right there. Go, go. Well, we're going to have that posted up tomorrow morning. You'll be able to vote between the two. Now, here's the sad news. If Joe Matheny loses again and Jane edges him out, he is going to go all the way down that's to the fun. very, 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 very bottom of the pile. And we will not be hearing or seeing from that hamburger barbecue slinging maniac for quite some time. All right? So, again, y'all vote for whoever you want to. Make sure you vote fucking right. Every okay? killer gets two chances. That's right. Then they go to the bottom. Then they go to the bottom if they don't make it. All right? So, we're going to dive into H.H. Holmes here real shortly, but we got a few things we're going to go over before that. Um, number one, Trish is super excited about a very, very soon upcoming episode <laughs> of Talking Scared. Um, March 18th, correct? Yep. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Because he is... Eastern a, Standard Time. Yeah. He's across the pond um, over in the U.K., it is the one and only David Moody. Um, we have a lot of his books out here on display. Um, they and I have the new one coming. Ordered it today. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to let Trish take over for just a minute. She wanted to talk about him. This is her uh, favorite author. Something she's very, very excited about. So I'm going to shut the hell up and let Trish take over for a minute. Tell you all a little bit about Mr. David Moody. All right. So this year, actually, for David Moody, ended up marking his 10-year anniversary for the Hater series. Um, started off as three. He ended up releasing another one in 2017 for it.